no, bud. No, no, no. Listen, Bubbles is not here yet. We're not doing this. I'm not doing this with him. All right? So whatever. This is the deal. You guys can keep fucking running this. Do whatever. But it, this is part of the 30 fucking minutes we're going to be on air. Just so you know. So have fun. It's going to be real exciting. Ricky. Mm. Here, get up. Oh. Get up. Oh, wait. Ricky, yeah. get the fuck up. Oh, man, I am fucked. I can't do this right now. You've got to do this because it's just you and I doing it this time. Where the fuck is Bubbles? I, I don't know. Where the fuck is Bubbles? Well, I'm sleeping until he fucking gets here. Well, you're, no, you've got to fucking... All right, we're I haven't start... been to bed yet. I'm fucked. Do you think I have got much sleep last night? I forgot you... about this fucking thing today. All right, got to talk about the sponsors. <sighs> Let's just get this out of the way. Liquorman's Whiskey. Everybody's buying it in Newfoundland. Good job. Keep drinking. Keep chugging it. Whatever. Do shots of it. Tell everybody. Yay. Yeah. Like keep buying. Hopefully, we'll, a fuck. If we will, if we get paid from this, you'll be given a fuck. So <sighs> keep buying it, please. Blah 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 blah. blah. Oh, oh, do, you got, do you have anything prepared? No, for today? I fucking forgot about this thing. Normally, I'm the most prepared. Today, I have fuck all. You're, you're not. You're never prepared for this. <sighs> Fuck. See, and this is starting to piss me off because, I mean, we've got sponsors that want us to do a good job in this whole podcast, and yeah. you're just doing shit all. Well, fuck. Hey, guys. Thanks. Oh, fuck off. I'm not fucking dealing with you right now. I'm too hungover, you dick. That's too bad, Ricky. No, no, no. What are you doing? Swearing it called me up. He said that I'm running the podcast today. What the no. fuck are you talking about? Bubbles is running the podcast. No, he's not. Bubbles is not here. I'm running the podcast, and you're constantly fucked up. So they want it to run right. Like and they it. said I should come in. They, look, they paid me in food. This is breakfast, and I'm going to get more, actually, from lunch and supper, and they gave me joints. This is like, I already smoked three, but this is, this is left over. I can't even fucking listen to you Are you fucking kidding me? Would you get that away from me, Randy? Was that behind your fucking ear? Yes. So it's covering ear slime and grease and ear shit. Here, Ricky, Great. wipe, wipe that off. I'm not fucking smoking Use that. some of your toilet paper, wipe that I shit off. I would fucking light that with a blowtorch, maybe. Well, wipe it off. Why the grease you on. have toilet paper in front of you, Ricky? It's napkins, dumbass. What do you mean? I haven't been to bed yet. I still got my fucking cooler on from last night. Fucking baseball is killing me. It's a pretty good setup, though. Except it's leaning a bit. It's beer and nuts. Mustard. A few pepperoni left. <sighs> See, this is why swearing at wanted me to come in today. Because you're fucked. Oh, I'm clearly. fucked, am I? You're fucked. You're more fucked than I'll ever be fucked. I don't think so. Were you born fucked or did you just become fucked over the years of fuckness? Ricky, just because I'm in charge doesn't mean that, you know, you have to be an asshole this whole podcast. What the fuck right? do you got there? This is like a breakfast sandwich with sausage and stuff. Oh my fuck. And a couple of Dorito chips. <sighs> Randy, you fucking. Where's ours? Yeah, where's ours? Listen, I don't know how you guys get paid from swearing up for these things, but they told me that I got breakfast, so. Mm. It's just so fucking ridiculous. I can't even deal with this right now. It's lapidus. Take your fucking ear joint, put it over there. Okay, we'll put Thankfully, that. I got a real joint left over from last time. All right, All right so when are we starting? Start. We're waiting for Bubbles. No, Bubbles isn't coming. They told me that I'm doing it today, and Bubbles isn't coming. What do you mean he's not coming? Are you kidding me? I just said that Bubbles isn't coming, I have nothing and I'm prepared. running this. I forgot about this fucking thing and passed out. Julian has nothing fucking prepared. He's got his little... Fancy, whatever the fuck that is. I've got it prepared, Ricky. I'm running this thing. Oh, yeah. I got my clipboard and everything's ready. <sighs> this should be fucking All right, fantastic. you know what, Ricky? We're going to turn this into a positive. I'm, he's got everything These ready. Podcast, we'll just let him get through. Things are going to shit. We'll just get him to do it all. We're not going to have to do near, nearly as nothing. Good. I'll go back know, to sleep. I don't work. give a fucking sleep. Like you're not going to go back to sleep. This shit. See, Julian, this is why they want me in here. Because Ricky's dead. Did you oh, shower today? Rick, I shower all the time. Mm -hmm. Did you shower today? Well, I showered last night. Move the fuck over. I'm gonna get stoned, or I'm gonna fucking kill you right Brady. now. I'm not sitting next to Rick over there. Rick off. All right, everyone, Another welcome good to tip. the. If you feel like killing anybody, smoke a hash joint. It helps. Ricky, I was talking. Keep I was... out of jail. Ricky. What? Shut the frig up. Randy, watch your fucking mouth, or I'm gonna tackle you. Just say it. 
How can you run a podcast with, with this? Get the fuck Normally off. Normally there's not a deck here, is there? But today we got one of the world's biggest decks, and it's pissing me off. So I get this in my lungs. Fuck off! You're too close fucking to close to me. Oh, don't put that fucking water well, I don't in want them. Get the fuck over there. Listen, I need room for my food, Julian. Can we start this? Oh, fuck. I can't wait. Can we, camera guy? Give me some of that, Ricky. I already did, bud. Just get it going. All right. Welcome to the podcast today, everyone. My name is Randy. I'm the Assistant Trailer Park Supervisor of Sunnyvale Trailer Park. Jesus. Pleased to be here today. I got some great news for you guys. Check this out, guys. <sighs> Can't wait. I'm, I'm here. You know, did you talk about the sponsor? Lickerman's? Oh, my Old, fuck. dirty Canadian whiskey? Nobody gives a fuck. Okay, Just well. keep it going. All right. Well, we got all kinds of good stories today. And, Ricky, I even did think of you to talk about well, some stuff. thank you so fucking much. You didn't think of me when you ordered breakfast, did you? You fucking Just soft bread, little Just take whatever you want, Ricky. Well, I've only got to put the breakfast sandwiches. Here, you can have one. That's it. You're seriously going to give me one of these? That's it. Julian? All right. I thought you were fucking the world's biggest dick. Now you're the world's biggest... Second or third dick. Do you want a breakfast sandwich? We're moving biggest down the list. Give me, give me a breakfast sandwich. <sighs> Four left. So that's Do you need mustard? No, that comes with this sauce, but put some jalapenos on there. Put some mustard on a breakfast sandwich, Ricky. Might be good. Holy shit, this is a... No wonder. No wonder what? What are you, you No fucking, wonder you swearing that wants me to come in and do this. Because you are strong enough. I still want to kill you. Fuck. You're, okay. you're calling us? Like, have, are, are you going to start this? Okay. Oh, All right. Look at the Mr. Organized. All right. I've got my fucking notes. All right, everybody. I'm really impressed. So, what we have here is um, some great stories. The first story is that Julian. Fuck off. First story is that Canada has a new prime minister. New prime minister, everybody. And his name is Justin Trudeau. Hmm. Yeah, Justin Trudeau. He's uh, he's one of the liberals. He's 43 years old, and uh, and he's handsome. And I, I think he's gay, too, actually. Whoa, 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 what are you talking yeah. about? He's well, handsome. What do you mean he's handsome? Well, he's got all his hair, and, and uh, he's, he's young, and I think he's going to represent Canada in a real, real good way. Let's get back to the handsome part. No, let's get back to the gay part. You just can't go around calling the Prime Minister of Canada gay, Randy. That's that's out of line. I thought he was busy married with kids. Well, he might be bisexual then, probably. But I mean, that's you know, that's the difference with that, you know, that type of party and stuff. They what like, are you talking they... about, Randy? So you think the Prime Minister is awesome because he's handsome and gay? Yeah, and he and he he's wants not. to make Canada he's, a better place too. He's, he's married with three kids. Let's just we don't talk about politics on this, okay? How about the feds with this guy. I guess we are talking about politics. Well, Why, Ricky? I'm worried about the dope thing. I'm just going to say it. Why are you worried about it? Well, unless he gives me a job, I'm out of a fucking job, right? Because if they start growing all their dope, and it's probably going to be pretty good. Hopefully, it won't be as good as mine. That's why I should hire me. But what do I do then? You grow dope for the government, I guess. Hopefully. I mean, at least we won't get arrested, which is fucking but, awesome. Okay, it's stupid that we can't even carry fucking pot but, around. It is stupid, but this is the big question. Are they going to hire somebody that has a f criminal record to grow dope for them? I don't think so, man. That's who grows the best dope. Because now, under his new laws, I wouldn't even have gone to jail. So maybe he is. I'm not going to say he's handsome or whatever he is, else. Though. He's got nice hair. <sighs> okay, so you want to bang the prime minister? I didn't say that. I, I would you? Just so you know, I just said that I, I think he's handsome and uh, he seems like he's a hard worker. And he's probably bisexual, so I mean, it, it means that he he's in tune with everybody. In in it's my opinion. Right? <sighs> okay, but I mean, this day and age, if he was gay, would he just say, "Hey guys, I'm gay," and everyone would still think he's fine? I don't get that it. That is true. Well, I think we should invite him to Sunnyvale Trailer Park. Or maybe he's just not gay, Randy. We invite him to Sunnyvale Trailer Park for Community Day, Julian. Well, hopefully, he's not going to fuck everything up. That's my point. Whether he's gay or not, or handsome or bisexual, or whatever the fuck you think he is, I hope he fucking doesn't screw the country up like the last guy. Fuck. All right, enough, enough about the politics. His father was pretty awesome. My dad fucking liked him a lot. Did Who's he? his father? You don't know who his father was? Mr. Trudeau, obviously. Elliot Pierre. Pierre Elliot Trudeau, man. He was our private minister, you dumbass. Yeah. 
Do you think he was sexy? Do you think he was gay? I don't even. I don't even know. Well, that was a fun, fucking great start, great man. Great go, Randy. Really impressed so nice far. To well, it's a good up. start. People I mean, probably, it's... they're just blown away. They're probably having fucking car accidents listening to this shit. Well, some people around the world don't know that we have a new prime minister, and now we know that Justin Trudeau is the that you handsome bisexual guy. No, I'm, good. I'm good. I'm good. Good. I wasn't gonna give it to you anyway. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Randy, don't be fucking pushing it. You're lucky that I have a half of a hash to be right now. I'm not feeling that aggressive. But right. if you fuck with me too much, some shit will go down. Just so you know. And I think he could totally take you, so you probably should shut your mouth. <clears throat> Stop being dead. Okay, all right, guys. Jeez. This warm beer is making me feel violent. Ricky, I'm about to talk about the next topic. The hash is kind of fighting it, but the liquor's on this shoulder going fucking hit him. And the fucking hash over here saying, not yet, just fucking let him say his shit. And just so you know, Randy, if he does fucking freak it on you, I'm not going to stop him. Okay? So don't be a dick. Listen, Continue. Guys, don't blame you me. You better have some this. fucking good shit here, or you're kicked off the podcast for good. Okay, well, I, actually, I got a, a story that, that I found, and uh, I thought it would be interesting to you, and you'd actually be able to talk about it, because normally you're dumb. I don't even think it. you got your grade 10, actually. Keep saying shit, Randy. You I'll know? keep drinking. We'll keep see what happens. Randy. Okay, the next story that we have to talk about here today is some news about NASA. All right? Who doesn't like NASA, right? Space mm -hmm. no, no, fucking space story, man. Well, this is this is interesting because because people are saying that they want NASA to stop holding press conferences until they discover some little alien guys. What like, the fuck? Well, apparently are people are getting about? pissed off. Like they don't want them to be talking about, you know, oh, we found a black hole or we found water on Mars and stuff like this. That and people are just saying, look, if you find aliens, put it in the news, but. I like hearing about stuff like water on Mars. That's cool well, shit, I think. Oh, it's useless God. fucking shit that's Who wasting space shit? in our brains, in my opinion. I agree with whoever the fuck said this. It's stupid. Oh, fuck, we found another star. We found another planet. Who gives a fuck? I can't see them. I don't care. What, are we going to live there someday? Do I have to remember the name of these fucking things that are named with Why numbers just and shit? Work no, on trying I don't to fucking fuck. save our planet instead of, you know... I agree. Until you find some fucking aliens or spaceships or... Other worlds or whatever, fuck off. We don't need to hear from you. It's a waste I have of time. To say, Ricky, it's a waste I disagree of money. with you. I disagree. I think the story is fucked anyway. I think, I think NASA should be telling us about all kinds of stuff. That's why that telescope's up there. Tell me this, Randy. Do you think, do you think there is actually little alien guys running around up there? I've seen well, Julian, every time you look up in, into the sky and you, at night and you see a, a star twinkling, that star is really a sun. And that sun has got all kinds of other planets circling around it, and just the, like, it's just like not like our solar system, but it's it's you know kind of different. But anyway, every one of those is a whole solar system, Julian. So there, there's probably there's probably aliens out there. I mean, maybe they're eating like alien cheeseburgers and stuff. You are fucked. I'm going to sleep, dumb man. Oh, all right, what's the next one? Then there is aliens. Really Just fucking do a lot of mushrooms or good LSD, and that's when you fucking can see them and communicate with them. Ricky, that's called hallucinating, bud. Or is it? It is. Or? It's a drug. It's an hallucinogen. You're fucking hallucinating. So or it's all real, and no one's telling you the truth. You're probably just looking at Corey thinking he's an alien because you're hallucinating, man. Well, whatever it is, I've seen them. They exist. They do exist. So they might exist. You're but... fucking more stupid than I'll ever try to be. Okay. All right. The next topics that we have to talk about here on this wonderful podcast is all about burgers and cheeseburgers. Oh, great. oh my fuck. They are my favorite food. There's some groundbreaking news. Well, this is very interesting, and a lot of people out there like burgers. It's, it's the way it goes, right? You like cheeseburgers, right, Julian? I, yeah, I'll have a cheeseburger every now and then. Exactly. Well, did you know that there's a National Cheeseburger Day? Ooh, I wow. think that's the smartest, smartest day in the world. For you, that's every fucking day, isn't it? No, no, it's actually on September 18th is that National Cheeseburger Day. National, like the world? Well, yeah. Everyone in the world on that fucking day is supposed to eat a cheeseburger, and then what happens? Well, it's just the day that cheeseburgers are worshipped and appreciated. I mean, think about Why? it. Wouldn't that be International Cheeseburger Day? Is Why it, that like, day? Is this taking place in Canada? 
or just the United States. Why'd they pick that day? I don't know. It's probably because it's like the end of summer type thing, and it's nice out. No. What day yep. did you say it was? September uh, 18th. It's still summer, bud. No, the last day of su summer's, I think, the 19th. Which means it's still summer, you dumbass. So it's to celebrate the end of summer. Everyone eats a fucking cheeseburger. Yeah, it's all good. Oh, fuck, Randy. What about in the North Pole? It's not summer. They're not celebrating the end of summer. They don't give a fuck. Well, it's good. It says Americans. You know, they're, they're talking about America. Americans' favorite sandwich is celebrating its heritage on the 20, or the well, 18th you know what? You just, of September. You've just proven something, Randy. You've just proven that Ricky's way fucking smarter than you because you are really dumb. I've been saying it my whole life. Oh, I made, you made a mistake here. I oh. apologize to the world. The day, this day is different from National Cheeseburger Day, which is the 27th of August. They want to make it a heritage day or something. I didn't read the story in full. I'm well, sorry. Like, Hold the fuck on. So there's a hamburg National Hamburger Day and a National Cheeseburger Day well, it's within they, a couple weeks of each other. Well, yeah, the, the 27th of August is just, just the end of August. This is probably the lamest piece of information ever put out on the airwaves. Thank you, Randy. Well, I'm going to... Congratulations, next, Randy. I'm going to have what a cheeseburger a picnic. fucking story. Today oh. is National Fucking Dumbass Day, and you are the president. Listen, it's not my fault here, guys. This is not... I'm, I'm just bringing some stories. I mean, people are interested in cheeseburgers. Oh, fuck. Uh, people probably are writing all these fun facts down, so next year they can just celebrate like crazy, I'm sure. I know I am. They even got an app you can download on your phone. I mean, that's pretty impressive, I think. They've got an app. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my fuck. Just so you don't forget? Or? Well, I mean, the whole thing is, is a cheeseburger should be celebrated. It's the, You don't need a knife and a fork to eat a cheeseburger. You know, it's got all the food groups in it, dairy, bread. You got your meat and your vegetables or your vegetable group. I mean, it's all in one thing. And plus, they're on every value menu, so you can go and get a cheap one, you know, Cheaper than you can probably buy, like, fresh fruit. Brandy, Brandy. You know? Brandy, would you just shut the fuck up for a Are you a done minutes? with the cheeseburger talk? No more cheeseburger talk. But you, if you don't like mustard, you can get it without... <laughs> Nobody no who shit. gives a fuck. It's a grill it's order. A, it's an easy thing to eat. But that would okay, eliminate fine. one of the food groups then, wouldn't it? And not so healthy. Mustard isn't a food group, Ricky. How can you eat the fucking things every day? Let's just move on to the next story. Okay, the next story is also about burgers. Oh, my fuck. Oh, I'm getting fucking pissed off now. Well, what do you what? want to talk about, Ricky? I'm switching to cold beer because it will make me even more violent. Keep talking, Randy. All What's right. Your... The next burger story is Burger King has introduced a Halloween Whopper. <laughs> That's it awesome. Was it like ghosts and witches and shit on it? No, it made its debut in Japan because Japan has the one of the highest cheeseburger intakes in the world. Japan? Yeah. You wouldn't think it, but, but they really like their cheeseburgers there. And now it's making its way to the UK and the US Burger King's famous Black Burger. It's causing quite a stir among local residents, right? I guess the burger's black, Julian. What do you mean it's black? It's black. How? Well, when it was created in Japan, this burger you was made black using cows? black pepper to darken the buns and bamboo charcoal and squid ink to darken the cheese. <laughs> okay. That is the coolest that thing I've ever heard. Disgusting. Spot. Why? Squid ink. The bun has squid ink in it. No. To turn it black. The yeah. Squid ink is well, used you to just darken the that, cheese. Randy. It's to you darken the cheese. Okay. It's you don't need much, thing. just a little bit, you want. I wouldn't eat. You I know? wouldn't eat anything black anyway. That's fucked. Licorice? <laughs> Fuck's sakes. All but right. Why would you want you to eat a black cheeseburger? And it's who gives a shit? Because it's Halloween, Julian. You know, like. Batman's black. I thought he's got you meant the black had a fucking little witch stuck, 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 stuck in the bun. A what? A witch or a fucking pumpkin or something. That's made at a Halloween cheeseburger. Not that they're going to make shit black and fuck with you. They put like a little thing on a pen or something. Like yeah, hey. Of a, of a witch. It's Halloween, everyone. Like the thing they put in steaks and shit. Instead of that, they got fucking well, yeah, some weird drugs sense. and said, hey, let's make everything black. That is so stupid. Just so what? You can't see it at night? Fuck off. I think it's great. The U.S. version is going to be made using some A1 sauce. So why is there so much hype about this? This doesn't even make sense. Well, because Halloween is a big deal. because everything's black. Yeah. And I guess apparently what some people said is that it turns your poop green. <laughs> what? You have green poop if you, you eat this water. You're kidding me. 
What do you mean it's birds are poop green? It's, it's the Whopper. It's just because of the different stuff. So it's like color change and... It's because of all burger. the dyes and shit and the well, squid I mean, shit. If you eat corn, you get corn in your poop. <sighs> yeah, but okay, why do you always end up... You Why do you like talking about fucking that shit? I don't understand this. So you eat something black and all of a sudden it's green. It's because so of it all somehow the dyes. changed color. Some kind of a chemical reaction, I guess. Or exactly. The squid ink mixed with your fucking stomach shit. It might be because of the onion turns rings. Turns the black green and makes your poop green. All onion right. rings mixed with the black burger might. The onion rings are a different color, so the two of them combined. The colors are made from different colors, Ricky. Like, that's you know, like... Fun little guess. Maybe you should do an experiment and see if that's true. I think the only color that doesn't have other colors in it is is white, I think. I think white is just white. But I've never had green poop. Boys, get one of these Whoppers. Have you ever had green poop? No, I've had uh, reddish poops when I ate beets. <laughs> Okay. I'm not a big. You know what? This is, this I is can't fucked. do this. I can't. I'm not. I'm not talking about that stuff. Go anymore. get bubbles. This is fucking ridiculous. Listen, just try the Whopper, everybody. Why not? Go for it. Do something different for Halloween. It's. Uh, I think it'd be kind of cool do to. Different for Halloween. You know. Life. Well, and you could have uh, green poop, just like St. Pat Patty's Day. You know how they turn the rivers green and do stuff like that. This is be like the first of November Green Poop Day. St. Patty's Day would make more sense. What does? To they should have it then. The burger's not green, Ricky. The burger's black. But it comes out green. But then it doesn't look like a burger. Well, then they should make the Halloween one green and would come out black, which would make more sense. Boys, why are we still talking about this? I have no idea. Randy keeps... He won't shut up. Well, you're that. bringing it back in to fucking play, Ricky. It's no wonder swearing at wants you not to be fucking things up. Like Good. I, I don't away. have to do one of these ever fucking again. I don't even want to. Wow, give me a couple free joints here and there. Oh, shit. I'm allowed to drink free beer, especially if it's sponsorship, which we'll this make, is not We'll make money shitty. if people buy this, this pair of booze, okay? We'll buy a liquor means we might make some money. Do you have food. any fucking anything prepared that's not about cheeseburgers and handsome prime ministers or what? Today's special or podcast is all about burgers and oh my some God. NASA God. stuff. Are you kidding me? All right, there's another story about the world's smallest burger. You heard about burgers breaking world records because they've been larger than life. You know, they're so big it takes hours to cook them and uh, and to finish eating it. Well, now they've come up with something different, little mini burgers. Check this out. Look at this, Julian. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Look at that. It fits in your hand. Let me see this fucking thing. It's a little tiny burger. It's got a little Coke. Or Why something. would you want that? Give me that. Like, why? Okay, that's stupid. The burger is the size of a fucking toonie with a drink the size of a loony and about five loonies tall. That's a shooter. That's fucking stupid. This burger would be great for, like, well, that's not even kids a mouthful. at recess or something. No, it's not even a mouthful. It's like, it fits in the palm of your hand, Ricky, the whole thing. Whoever invented that's just trying to be a cute fuckhead. That's stupid. No, it's just... It's a, a burger and drink for dolls. Look, they got a whole bunch of little ones there. Fucking hamsters. What good are they to you, little, though? Randy, little, how little many of those do you picks. think you could eat? Well, I you just... Two you could eat... It, look, Ricky. 7,000 of them. You know who would like that shit? Fucking mini-me. Well, I mean... Burn. You, he'd love that you're shit. Talking, they're like hors d'oeuvres. Making shit his size. I like the idea of little bite-sized burgers. They, they yeah, want to make a mess. You have to eat 417 eat. of them. It'd be like you eating popcorn. Think about it. Burger popcorn. I think it's a fantastic idea. I think you're being kind of a dick. It's the size of one of those fucking rich sandwiches, man. All yeah. right, if I if I make up some mini burgers, you're not going to have any. I'm not saying that, but you have to eat a shit ton of them to fucking get full. And I mean, how long would you cook them for? Half a second? It'd be like, ksss, ksss, oh, really? done. It'd take at least a minute, maybe Why? two. It's, it's too dinner. small. It still you know, has to cook, Ricky. Oh, whatever. You guys are fucking stupid. I You're guess, fucking I stupid. really can't wait till lunch. I'm gonna go get some burgers. You still got a big fucking bag of food right there. Yeah, this is breakfast. This what is other different. fucking burger news do you got? Jesus Christ. Okay. Christ. That's some small burgers, everybody. Is that it for the burgers? Please. I'm sorry, I'm Please. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm fucking getting close to that feeling now. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's, that's about the end on the burgers. Like, fuck.
I think I'm getting just confused. See, you're not prepared. You're just I am too. I got everything on my clipboard. I swear not send you here to host this thing again. I will fucking kill somebody. Yeah, whatever, Ricky. Found another story about rabbits. Great. About, yeah, again? rabbits. You got bunny rabbits? This bunny rabbit looks like the size of a small horse. It says the world's largest rabbit gets competition from his own son. I guess his son has grown like a big bastard. But check it out. Look at this, Julian. That, that rabbit is as big that's as this. A huge that's rabbit. not a stuffed toy. Look, Ricky, give me this fucking thing. That's Holy cool. fuck, that's not real. That's a real rabbit. No, no, that's photococked. No, it's photo what? Photococked. It's when you take a photo and you fuck it around and cock it over. Photoshopped, Ricky, I know that. <sighs> fuck off. That is like a six foot, one inch rabbit. But a hundred and... Six foot, one inch 106 rabbit. pounds. That's fucking crazy. Great. Nice story, Randy. And what's the point of the story? Yeah. Well, Andy, I don't know about it? this. Like, the thing it says that his dad was 1M30. So that, that's not feet, Ricky. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, you were talking that he's six feet. He's not six feet. I can tell by looking at him how fucking big he is and what he weighs, Randy. I'm good at that shit. Fuck. I don't know. It's this German giants. They normally get up to 1.2 meters wide. I bet that cocksucker's going to become the Easter Bunny. Because the real Easter Bunny would be scared shitless of that fucking thing. This bunny has a dog hose. I think this okay, is cool. Would you eat that bunny, Randy? I don't eat bunnies, That's the question everybody wants to fucking I don't eat, answer. I don't eat bunnies. You don't eat bunnies? No. Bullshit. I don't. If there was a bunny burger right here right now, and it smelled fucking great, looked great, you would eat it. The only problem, if he was the Easter Bunny, he'd scare the fuck out of the kids if they ever woke up. Imagine you wake up and your oh, fucking you bedroom is a six foot fucking rabbit in there. You'd be like, Jesus fucking Christ! Holy fuck! It's gonna fucking eat me! You really think there'd be like a bunny hopping around to everybody? In the kids' rooms and shit? You have fucking heard of the Easter Bunny, I <laughs> you hope. Gotta, you gotta be kidding me, Rick. Come what? on. You're so Are you stupid. fucking kidding me? I, Santa Claus is one thing, but the fucking Easter Bunny? <laughs> So when you <laughs> got grown up, you never had a fucking egg hunt or... I've never had an egg hunt, okay? Well, lots you of kids why? do, and guess what? Where the fuck does that shit come from, dumbass? From their parents. Yeah, right. Fucking parents stay awake late at night and... Oh, yeah, okay, that's a fun fun little I can't believe you thought I can think the Easter Bunny is real. I just got a hash you got right through the bunny's head. <laughs> you know what? I thought, he, I thought you were smarter than him, Ricky, but no. Oh. You're dumber than Randy. You just proved it right there. Oh, Sorry, smarter dummy than him, that's for sure. What do you think? You're do you believe in anything? Than me. Yeah. Yeah, I am. What do you think, Julian? You're not smarter than me. What do you me, believe Randy. in? Anything? There's no such thing as Easter Bunny, man. Just believe in fucking whiskey and coke, rum and coke. Maybe. That's your Maybe that's your god. Makes sense. No, it's not my god. You guys are both fucked. Well, the you guys are more fucked than I am, because right now you're smoking an ear joint. No, no, that joint's from the Swear Net crew. They, they know for Then sure. it got mixed with fucking oils and stink from behind your ear. Waxes and different hair. This one? Shellax. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I don't it like that fucking It tastes fine, thing. Julian. You guys I'm smoke it halfway, it. that'll kill everything that's on it and in it, and then I'll maybe have a drag. All right, burgers, aliens, Easter bunnies, and All right. handsome prime ministers. What a fucking day this has been. This and then I thought we could open up, you know, questions from the audience. There There's is no, no fucking audience. There's no. Uh, this is a podcast, you dumbass. There's ass. a camera, dick. Sound, dick. No, Producer, what the dick. What? They, they can't ask us any questions, and that's seriously all you fucking brought with you. Well, yeah, it was a bunch of little mini burger stories and. Cheeseburger days and and they sucked. All your stories. He could probably shit. use his machine there and pull up ten fucking things right now that would blow your shit out of the I water. Could, but guess what? It's time to go, so I'm not going to. And Randy, thank you for the worst podcast ever. It's it's I seriously just, time to go. Yeah, yeah. Are I'm you sure? I'm done. We're at thirty minutes. I'm the fuck out of here. He stinks. He's stupid. You're not that smart, Ricky. As well, you proved it. I'm out of here. Oh, Julian, we're supposed to friggin'. That still it tastes like some kind of. Fucked up steak or oil or ugh. You Jesus think? Christ. You're lucky I've smoked that because I was gonna fucking tackle you. 
Thanks for the sandwich. It wasn't bad. It was, I don't know. It wasn't great. Turkey. All right. I, th I think Julian's wrong. Like, we got to sit here. We got to thank our sponsor. We already did thank them. Liquorman's old Canadian dirty whiskey. Randy. Friggin'. You, you look like shit on this, Ricky. Thanks for tuning in to the, the podcast. And I'm sure that, uh, sure you guys Fuck are going to enjoy this. What the fuck are you doing, Ricky? I was trying to take this thing off so I could fucking fight you. You are so fucking stupid. Really. You are dumb. All right, are the cameras off for fuck's sake? Yeah, I don't want to fight you on camera. You won't get a fucking embarrassed. Fight, boys. Get your frig off. Get the shit out of it. Ricky! Frig off! Ricky. Thank you.